What's up, y'all? Chastity back for yet another episode of Thirsty Thursday. Did y'all miss me? It's been so long. About a month, exactly. June was absolutely bananas, but in the best way possible. I did some IG takeover, celebrated Juneteenth, took my W set to exam and also was shouted out by liquor.com as one of the seven best virtual wine tastings so thank you all so much for always tuning in and supporting your girl and i'm super thrilled to be back on my bs sharing all the delicious wines but first the category for this week's episode is staples for the cookout now for those of you all who are going to celebrate the fourth it's imperative that you bring delicious wine or rather open a delicious wine when you're grilling your meats or baking your ribs, or whatever you decide to do uh, this upcoming weekend. So I did want to share two very delicious wines that I think you should go out and grab uh, for the weekend festivities. First up is 2019 Los Vascos Chardonnay from Casablanca Valley, Chile. And the cool thing about this wine is that one, it's un oak. So it's not going to give you those normal Chardonnay notes that you might think of when you think of Chardonnay from California um, or any popular region here in the United States. Uh, this one here is pale in color, like a pale yellow color. Um, it's a dry wine, which means that it's actually going to um, be acidic on the palate. And another thing to note about Chardonnay, and I've shared this before, it's a wine that's grown everywhere. Cool, moderate, warm climate. Um, you name it, it's probably grown there. And this one is great for a cookout or a barbecue because it is dry, it's light in body, it's uh, got notes of citrus, so your lemon zest. Um, it has a lot of actually tropical fruits, so think of like banana, pineapple, peach. Um, it's definitely one of those wines that's uh, really good to put on ice, make sure it's relatively cold, and share with the family and your friends. A wine like this is gonna pair well with foods that are um, high in acidity. So you're thinking of tangy cabbage salads, not coleslaw, because I know everybody don't get down with that, but um, you're thinking about grilled lemon pepper wings or um, you know those foods that kind of give your mouth an ability to water um, so you can savor them. Definitely go out and get this a try. It is, a like I said, a different type of Chardonnay. I know Chardonnays tend to be on the drier side, full of a city, a lot of those tropical fruits like I mentioned before. And um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep this one in rotation for the entire summer just because it's light, it's full of flavor, and I can share it with friends if I want to or I can drink it by myself. Next up is a 2017 Bottega Vinaya Pinot Noir from Northern Italy. Now, Pinot Noirs are great for barbecues because they are light in body, a lot of fresh red fruit flavor. We're talking about plum, strawberry, cherry. This one in particular though, being that it is from Northern Italy, does have a lot of that fresh red fruit flavor. So you're gonna get notes of sour cherry, cooked plum, some raspberry. Um, on the nose, I got some tobacco, some smoke, some cedar. Um, this one actually is going to be a good one to put a little bit of a chill on and um, when we're talking about barbecues and cookouts you definitely want something that has some body to it because you're obviously going to have meats on the grill and this one's going to go great with your burgers, your hot dogs, your chicken, your steak, um, those meats that are gonna have that really yummy smoky flavor, this wine is gonna go uh, deliciously with. And I'd also pair this um, with some yummy cheeses. Um, you're gonna make a little cute charcuterie board. Um, salty cheeses, meats, some olives, because um, it does have some acidity to it. 
And the fun thing about this particular Pinot Noir is that it has a full round mouthfeel. And that's not always common with light body Pinot Noirs, but I think because this one hails from Italy and it's 100% Pinot Noir, it definitely has a, a velvety quality to it. And something that you can um, absolutely enjoy all year round, but in particular when we're talking about cookout season, this is one you'll definitely want to keep in rotation as well. And I think when it comes to cookout wines and being able to be around a few friends and family, we're still social distancing, keeping it cute, wearing our masks because coronavirus. But um, you definitely want to be able to bring wines that everybody can enjoy. And this Chardonnay and this Pinot Noir are two that I think everybody will grow to love. Now, before I go, per usual i think i just want to shout out everybody who continues to support me and everything i'm doing um june was absolutely bananas but like i said in a really good way just super busy creating a lot of great content and i want to keep that same energy moving forward so like i always say if you have questions suggestions please do not hesitate to reach out to me send me a tweet an email a smoke signal a carrier pigeon whatever have you and i will do my best to deliver quality content content that you'll be able to not only refer to in the future but enjoy uh, with your friends and family so in the meantime in between time i'll see y'all next week cheers